welcome to Amsterdam Centra. Oh God, it's so cold. It's cold? No. Let me see. Coming to Starbucks because I am freezing and we found one. And like always, the line is insane. We got our Starbucks, nice and warm, and they called me Urma. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Urma, that's my Dutch name. Oh, you alright? <laughs> did you just really? Damn it. Did you just really? <laughs> Luckily, this is waterproof. <laughs> I'm spilling nowhere. this all over the Can't place. Can't take him nowhere. <laughs> it burned me, guys. So let's see what this city has to offer. freezing I don't know how he's not like dying right now guys so we've been walking for about 20 minutes because we want to get to where it says I am Amsterdam I think it is yeah, yeah. I think it's I, I Amsterdam or I Amsterdam, Amsterdam <laughs> something like that I'm pretty sure you guys seen it in on Instagram and all the pictures and stuff like that so we're trying to make it but guys check it out I don't know if you guys saw that but it <laughs> is crazy crazy out here but we're gonna make it we're gonna make it that was amazing they sounded like they have the whole orchestra and there's only three of them right now oh it's bright and right now we just got to where the sign is, but oh my God, the surroundings of the sign, they are gorgeous. But of course, I'm gonna show you. Instagram stories guys if you want to follow her oh check it out <laughs> somebody's video bombing her <laughs> I caught it. guys if you want to check out Irma's Instagram Impractical Nomad. Impractical Nomad it should be in the description below and don't forget mine <laughs> shameless 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 guys, so as you can see the crowds are crazy so there's no way we're gonna be able to take a picture or anything. So we just showed you guys a little bit of a little clip of the sign. To get this without people, I think you're gonna have to stay here maybe like eight o'clock at night or get here at seven in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. But that's crazy, especially how cold it is. But yeah, there's a the sign guys. So they have like this little bridge here over the ice skating ring. Let's see how the I am Amsterdam looks from up there. Let's check it out, guys. Oh, yeah. It looks awesome from up here. <laughs> it's just incredible to be here. I mean, this is something we've seen on, like, television and pictures. And just the fact that we're here right now is yep. kind of intense and insane. It yeah. makes me a little emotional. <laughs> don't cry now. Don't cry now. <laughs> I did already. I had my cry, but I she didn't want to cry. do it in front of everyone. Um, but it is really, really beautiful here. Like, it's everything you see on TV. It's everything you hoped it would be. Come here. It's, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous, guys. It just feels amazing to be here. What can I say? Check it out. Do 
Panati. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but they have some waffles here that look delicious. So we're gonna stop and try some. Look at this. Oh man, that looks so good. Oh my goodness, guys, look how delicious this looks. Oh man. You're gonna eat the whole thing by yourself? Of course. It has all the goods chocolate, yeah, waffle, right. custard, and strawberry. I don't care. I'm eating that. This is mine. Give me. <laughs> look at that. She talked about me, but look at that. She took the whole waffle, guys. That's it. There's no way I'm gonna get another bite of that. But it was great. So we decided to head back to Zan Dam because I have a call at 4 o'clock and it's already 3 o'clock and we just got on the train so hopefully I can get there on time. We didn't get to see the red light district or the Anne Frank house which is what I really wanted to see because we're short on time. We're only here for a few days um, and two of those days we spent sleeping because the jet lag is still really really bad for us. Hopefully after a few more days we'll be up to speed and we'll be able to make the most of our trip here. Um, so when we have an opportunity, we hope to come back and check out the red light district and then Frank house and all these other things that we I can show you. I need more waffles. Oh yeah, I need more waffles. <laughs> Definitely. <need> more waffles. <laughs> but the cool thing is that we're going to be able to show you where we're staying. We've been wanting to show you, but since we've been sleeping, <laughs> we haven't been able to show you. But today we'll definitely show you a little bit before Irma gets her call so let's go guys guys check out this cool hotel right here I saw this hotel on Instagram before we even came here and it ended up being right next to our hotel so we got out the train for the first time I was like Pictures will be up on my Instagram. Shameless plug, but yeah. By the way, this is the hotel that we are staying in right now. It's called Easy Hotel. I wanted to give you guys a little info in case you're looking for a place to stay here in Amsterdam. We chose this place called Easy Hotel because apart from it being affordable, <laughs> we paid, I think, for like four days, I think $200. Um, the reason why we decided to come here was we were reading the reviews online and we saw a couple of people saying that the Wi-Fi was A-OK, -okay, it was great. So we ended up coming here and to our surprise, the Wi-Fi sucks. I mean, it, it lets us connect to the um, network, but as soon as you put the password that the hotel gives you, not even 20 seconds will go by and it'll disconnect you. So basically we haven't been able to get anything done, nothing. We can't even surf the internet, nothing. So we complained a couple of times to the front desk and they were like, oh yeah, I'm sorry, that's so weird. We're gonna send an email and let the maintenance know. Guys, it's been three days, three days? Yeah, three days, right babe? Yeah. It's been three days and tomorrow's our fourth day here. And three of the four days, I went downstairs twice each day. And they told me the same thing. We're going to send an email and this and that and never got fixed. Yesterday, Irma and I had to go to the lobby because it has a it has like a public um, Wi-Fi that you could use. And it's much better than the hotel. And while we were down there, there was people coming downstairs complaining about the same thing. And the lady was telling them the same story. Oh my God, I'm sorry. That's so weird. And I, I had to be like, no, it's not weird. Like We told you like three days straight that the Wi-Fi wasn't working. So if you're coming here and you're not having to work or you don't have to be online, this hotel is perfect because it's cheap and it's right on the city center here of Zandam and there's a whole bunch of stores, places to eat, so it's perfect. But for those of you that need to be connected like we do, it is, it's gonna be a nightmare. So just wanted to give you guys an honest review and Easy Hotel, if you're listening to this or if you're watching um, this, please fix the Wi-Fi. I mean, the, the hotel is nice, just please fix the Wi-Fi. So yeah, you want? Let me show you guys the view. Hold on. 
me see. Oh, that's pretty bright. Jeez. But yeah, this is the view that we have, guys, of Zandam. Pretty much the entire town. And that right there, I don't know if you can see the dirt. Don't mind the, the dirt. It's not inside. It's outside. But that's the crazy um, hotel there that looks awesome. And right down here, there's super there's a supermarket, there's shops, and also, I don't know if you can see it from right all the way down here, there's a whole strip that goes all the way down there, and they have food, stores, and everything you, you would need. So, yeah, it's pretty good. So if you're in town, definitely look up this place, Easy Hotel. All right, so got that call done. Now we're about to go get some food, and we'll show you guys all around the beautiful little town or city of Zandam. Zandam, Amsterdam. <laughs> so this is the cool street that we have here in front of the hotel here in Zandam. Check it out, guys. We got a supermarket right there and this entire canal. Look how beautiful this street is. I'm not going to lie, guys. It is freezing out here. We're doing this for you guys because we love you. We found this spot called Gunai Lunchroom right here. And we literally have been here every day to eat because the food is so delicious. And we're returning again. <laughs> After you, dear Irma. Thank you. Like whenever you see a place that says like donor or donor outside, definitely go in because it is very delicious. Also, for a while, we were thinking that it was like an Arabic food because they use the same like kind of shawarma or Mediterranean. meat or Mediterranean in some way because they use the same meat as um like chicken shawarmas as well as um lamb that they use like in mm -hmm. gyros and things like that. That's a we, Greek and Greek. And, and, it, and that's and Greek, it's Mediterranean. Yeah, so, Mediterranean. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought for a while that, that was probably what it was. But we found out after looking on Google that it's actually Dutch. Um, and we found out from someone else that there is no actual like Dutch food, like something that's just them. They actually have, um, their food is like a mixture of different cultural foods. Yeah, because some of the sauces that we Googled, they're like from Indonesia and some are from other countries. So I don't care where it comes from. <laughs> it is delicious. <laughs> True story. True story. True story. <laughs> Wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we've been getting, the chicken donor. And Irma likes this, the capsalon. It's like french fries with like chicken. In this case, it's a lamb the way I like it, but Irma doesn't like lamb. And I got this one today. Thank you so much. Okay, thank nice. you. That looks so delicious, babe. You know I'm gonna take a little bit of You're not taking any of my stuff, right? <laughs> okay. You wanted your wrap. <laughs> Stay with your wrap. <laughs> and mine just got here. It's like a burrito with chicken inside. Well, it's pretty much what Irma has, but inside here. So, yeah. And it also has this amazing white sauce there. What What is it? Like a garlic so, sauce? These are not ketchup and mustard like we're used to in the States. This is actually like a white sauce that I think is made with like garlic or something, which is really good. And this is like a hot sauce that's from... It I tastes think, like, like sriracha, that one, right? Yeah, I think it's from Indonesia. I'm not sure, but it tastes really, really good when you put them both together on both of these foods. Yep, and I'm putting it on these. So, bon appetit, guys. just came out oh my god that thing was delicious and now we're oh oh shoot <laughs> guys <laughs> we had to come under this awning thing <laughs> because it started raining now and the sun came down <laughs> like when we went inside the place to eat the sun was out but guys I don't think it's meant to be Irma made me <laughs> stop here to get some coffee oh my god it's raining so bad I can't believe you made me you gotta be kidding me, it's closed. It's closed. I'm leaving it. <laughs> Can you believe this? She made me come all the way over here to get coffee and it's closed and the camera is getting wet. <laughs> Guys, I'll see you back in the hotel. So it looks like it just wasn't meant to be for us to show you a little more of Zandam. We tried to show you a little bit, but with the rain and the cold, we couldn't do it. So we're back in our hotel room. We are going to 
try to recuperate from the cold and lay down and relax a little bit and then we catch you guys tomorrow peace <laughs>